any requests? Hell yeah. All right. You even know his name. Oh, oh, that's tricky. Um, uh, do you know the words? <laughs> Hello, mister. Please to meet ya. Something like that. I wanna hold her. I wanna kiss her. She smells like dra daisies or something. She smells like daisies. Smells like daisies. I'll do right. Something like that. She drives me crazy. Cause she's a lady. That's why. <laughs> wanna take you on a ride on a BJ plane. Hey, wanna take you for a ride on a big jet plane? Hey, 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 hey. So wanna take you for a ride on a big jet plane? Hey. Wanna take you for a ride on a big 
champagne. Yeah. I feel like I need to like slip my wrists when playing that song or something. You know? It's a beautiful song, but I feel like I just killed the vibe. <laughs> the wedding song? Okay, Angus and Julia, right? They're Australian as well, right? Yeah. Are you guys Australian? No. Not many people know them. Palestinian. Ah, cool. What other requests have we got? Anything who? Rihanna? Um, uh, how's it go? Um, damn it. Never be worlds apart, but maybe in a magazine, and there you'll still be my star. Well, then, baby, in the dark, you can see shiny cars. That's when I need you there. And me with you, I'd always share. Because when the sun shines, we'll shine together. Told you I'd be here forever. And that I'd always be your friend. It took an oath, I'm gonna stick it out till the end. Now it's raining more than ever Know that we still have each other You can stand under my umbrella You can stand under my umbrella Ella, Ella, eh, eh, eh Under my umbrella Ella, Ella, eh, eh, eh Under my umbrella Ella, Ella, eh, eh, eh Under my umbrella Ella, Ella, eh, eh these shiny things that could never come in between You're part of my fantasy And here for infinity And when the world has taken part And when this world has dealt its cards Yeah, and if it's and it's hard Well then together we'll mend your heart and Because when the sun shines we'll shine together Told you I'll be here forever that I'd always be a friend It took an oath, I'm gonna stick it out till the end Now it's raining more than ever No that we'll still have each other You can stand under my umbrella You can stand under my umbrella Ella, Ella, eh, eh, eh well, Under my umbrella Ella, Ella, eh, eh, eh Under my umbrella Ella, Ella, eh, eh well, under my umbrella, Ella, Ella, Thank you, dude. I can't remember it too well, but. I tried it. Any more? Let's see what this human jukebox has got, right? <laughs> uh, sort of. Papa was a cop, and mama was a hippie. In Alabama, she would swing a hammer. The price you gotta pay to break the panorama. But she never knew that she was anything more than poor. What in the world 
Does your company take me for Black Bandana, sweet Louisiana Robbed all the banks in the state of Indiana She's a runner, a rebel and a stunner Well, on her merry way, so baby, what you got her? She looked at the Anything more than boy What in the world does your company take me for? California rest in peace A simultaneous release Oh California show your teeth She's my priestess, I'm her priest Yeah, yeah, oh, oh, oh I need a dollar, a dollar, a dollar, a dollar, a dollar, a dollar, a dollar. I need a dollar, a dollar, a dollar, a dollar, a dollar, a dollar. Cause I need a dollar, a dollar. Cause I need a dollar, a dollar. Bad times are coming, but then I read what I've also only said. Well, let me tell you, all that glitter is just ain't gold. Well, it's been, it's been a long, old trouble, long, old trouble, some road and looking for somebody to come in and help me carry this load. I said, I need a dollar, a dollar, a dollar is what I need. I need a dollar, a dollar, a dollar is what I need. I need a dollar, a dollar, a dollar is what I need And if I share with you my story, won't you share the dollar with me? I think that's a break. I'll see you guys later. Cheers.
Is it on? Hello. Can you hear me? Hi. Can you hear me? I think it's working. Hi. How are you? Hi, guys. Can Hi. you hear me? Oh, there we go. There we go. Uh, I, well, I just want to welcome everyone to the House of Bazaar. This is day one, and I hope everyone who has been in the garden has done our exclusive tour of the house. It's actually a very special year for Harper's Bazaar, the brand. We celebrate 150 years globally as the longest running magazine. We have our editor in the corner, here's Louise Nickel, who is the editor of Harper's Bazaar Arabia, and she has been the helm of the magazine for Harper's Bazaar Arabia, and she celebrates, well, the team celebrates 10 years. So congratulations to everyone who's a part of the team and to all the readers for making it happen. If you have been to the house, the concept is bringing the magazine to life. So it's so special because every room you walk into is healthy living, it's fashion, it's beauty, it's art, it's nursery. And if you came last year, I think you had a very much an East Coast feel. You felt like you were in the Hamptons. And this year, we take you to LA, which leads us to LA's number one Hi. hairstylist to the stars, Jen Atkin. Hi, guys. And I have an LA accent, so it's perfect. <laughs> So I'm going to invite you to sit down. Um, Jen is sweet. Well, you're leaving to Singapore in just a few hours, and so we have so much to talk about, actually. Because I'm going to start off. I feel like everyone knows you, but I'm going to say you really are the source to Hollywood hair. You are the one who sets the trends. We are the ones that follow, and we want to hear. So scary. <laughs> but I want to hear all the secrets to beautiful hair because. In the Middle East, we love hair, we love oils, we love great shampoo, we love great products. What is, what's in your kit? Oh my God, I have so much in my kit. I mean, I feel like the women in the Middle East it, were so inspiring to me when I was creating my Hair Care Line Way because you guys are so good about taking care of your hair. And the one thing I think that, you know, a lot of my clients have been coming here for four years and so a lot of my clients complain about humidity. So that's one thing I think it's a really big tip for you is like starting in the shower with the right product. So we have an amazing, just a little quick plug, we have an amazing shampoo conditioner called Smooth that's really great to help frizzy hair and repair is really great for color treated hair. So it really starts in the shower and I think even using a combination, like if you have oily scalp, dry ends, if your hair is very long, shampoo with something cleansing at the root and then shampoo with something hydrating on the ends to kind of balance it. That's one of my tips. Can I ask? I'm going to ask a personal question. Should you conditioner all the time? Yeah, I, I think conditioner is actually amazing. You know, from mid length to ends, if your hair is really, really coarse and you want to get it smooth, we have an amazing treatment mask that you can put in whenever you wash your hair. We have a lot of business women and entrepreneurs in the garden. I can spot a few already. So I wanted to actually ask you, how did you start your business? Because I feel like all of us have these ideas and there's this element of really making the leap of faith into investing in a product, making it a reality. When was that moment when you really knew that you had a vision, that you wanted to create something? What was that aha moment? Um, I feel like I was really lucky because I really gravitated towards Instagram early on. And you know, what's really exciting about our line is we're the first hair care brand that's really connected socially with our consumers and having conversations about what people want. And really, I think it's a very exciting time for women in general, no matter where you live. And I think you've seen it from the success of Huda. You know, I'm good friends with Emily Weiss from Glossier, our brand Way. We all have amazing opportunities right now because when you look at your social media stats, my Instagram is 70% women, my Snapchat is 90% women. So it's like we are really changing the conversation and we're creating new businesses and opportunities for each other. And I think that the moment I really felt like an aha moment was when I started really embracing what my girlfriends were doing and helping to promote what they were doing. And I think that that's something that's so powerful is being able to, you know, it was really important to be able to lift the people up around you and just encouraging, you know, that connection. Like if women like a product, they're so much more likely to share it than a man would. So if you think about it, like all of us having our phones and having that power to share what we like, any message, ideas that we have, it's really, you know, it's an exciting time. Like there's so much we can do. So your product way, what is the key ingredient that differentiates from everything else in the market? 
the key ingredient would be crowdsourcing. You know, I mean, I think we really are the first brand that, that has conversations. We'll go on Instagram Live and we'll ask, you know, we have like polls and surveys. I love the new poll feature on Insta Stories. Yeah. It's amazing. So we, you know, have conversations. So really it comes down to, I think one thing I don't really talk about a lot is like my investor is a woman, the president of our company is a woman. Like most of the people in our office, we only have two men in our headquarters in LA. So it's all women talking about what other women want. And I think that's something that really sets us apart. Because we know that none of us want to wash our hair and dry it. We're all really busy. And I think that, you know, women's lifestyles, it's like we've come so far that we're too busy to really spend a lot of time in the bathroom. We're all like on the go. We all have a lot of jobs. So it's fun for us to be able to create solutions to your hair problems that get you out of the bathroom faster. And you mentioned social media. You have over 2 million followers. I actually saw your schedule, by the way, and it's crazy, like between flights, running a business, appointments. Um, she just came back from Bahrain. And Fashion Month. And Fashion Month, Bahrain, Dubai, a quick stop. Yeah. Now to Singapore. How do you have time to manage all your social media channels? What's the secret of really connecting with your audience? Yeah, I mean, the thing is, is, you know, social media is the new form of advertising. So it's the most important thing, I think, for yourself if you're building a brand or, you know, if you want to connect with people. And I can't do it all alone. So I actually, last year, hired a team to help me. So they helped me to get a schedule, put a calendar together. I'm, I'm really involved with the Waze uh, Instagram as well and their Snapchat. So we'll set two weeks uh, increments and we'll, like, go through a calendar and decide what the message is, what the copy is. But... You know, I think it's really important to, if you're not good at it, find someone that can help you. You know, because a lot of people, it doesn't come naturally to them. It's not easy for them to share. But there's so many young people who are, it just, it comes second nature to them. So I think, you know, asking questions, finding somebody that can help you is really important. And as I mentioned, you set the trend. So what is happening in Hollywood right now that we need to know about? Oh my goodness. Um, what's happening in Hollywood? I think 90s. I feel like a lot of my clients, I mean, I work with like 18 to 21 year olds and they all like didn't live the 90s and that was when I was in high school. <laughs> so it's so fun because I just feel like I get to like give them the hair that the cool girls that went to my school had and they love it because they didn't like live through the 90s supermodel era. So that's something that I think a lot of our mood boards right now have a lot of like 90s references. And Linda Evangelista, Christy Turlington, a lot of clients this trip in Dubai actually, it's funny, this is my fourth year of coming. And the women used to have very, very long hair and only want to trim. And now I have people coming in and asking for actual, like, fringe and styles. And it's really fun. It's exciting. I feel like Dubai is really embracing uh, trends. And it's really fun to watch. Well, which is exciting. And I think we all follow you. And But to get this 90s trend, what do you need? What, what products do you need to achieve that perfect? Because I think with the 90s trend, you still need that modern element in today's time. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I feel like playing with hair accessories is something that's really fun and exciting. Um, definitely like oil. So in January, our rose hair and body oil is going to come to uh, the Middle East, which is exciting. But I think just healthy, shiny, glossy is key. I'm not going to ask you about Hollywood celebrity stories, but I will say I don't look that good when I get off a plane. And I feel like every time I open a magazine or I open social media, all the celebrities look incredible. Like, I mean, the airport is like another runway. So no what's the secret? What's the secret? Like, I want to look good when I get off the run like when I get off a plane I mean, in a 12-hour flight. The secret is to have a glam squad. I think that. <laughs> You know, my clients are really smart about taking products with them on the go. And we have, actually, way we have this amazing kit called On My Way. Oh. And it's like little travel sizes. And it's really important to have travel sizes in your bag and, you know, be able to do a touch-up of your lip, mascara. I think the basics, like a really good mask for the plane. And then taking a little small brush and some, like, texturizing hairspray just to give your hair a little lift after a long flight. And you have to be careful because you never know who you're going to run into at the airport. You could, like, meet your husband or I don't know. You want to look good at all times. Okay. So if you can't get the glam squad, if you can't get your team at the airport waiting for you, you have to get the to-go kit. Exactly. Makes sense. And what's your advice to young stylists that are starting out, that want to make their mark? Um, I think my advice for young stylists or anybody who's a young entrepreneur is to just really be true to yourself and your vision. And um, my favorite piece of advice is don't let anyone that can't tell you yes tell you no. 
I love that. So I think just really, you know, being consistent is key. So talking about social media, you know, it takes up a lot of my day. It's usually like 30 to 40% of my day. So I think just knowing that, you know, nothing comes easy. The people that you might look up to have worked so hard. You know, I, I work amongst a lot of amazing, success, successful women. And, you know, I get to see my clients like after they're doing the red carpet and between shows and jobs. And, you know, it's really hard and it's a sacrifice. And like I said, I feel like as a woman especially, you know, as we get older, we take on more jobs and we don't give anything up. And nobody tells you that, but like, you're a mother, you're a wife, you're, you know, you take on more jobs. So I think just, you know, I'm talking to myself right now. I think finding a balance is really important and just making sure that, again, you're just staying true to what your passion is. So we have about five minutes left because she's catching a flight. And Sorry. so I'm not even going to ask any more questions because I really want to open the floor to anyone who wants quick advice from Jen because this oh is God, your this chance is to meet her um, and ask her anything you'd like. Um, shall I open the floor? Yeah. Who has questions? Anybody? Okay, we have Noor. Hi. Hair colors. Hair colors. Um, I think that balayage is still it. Like the natural highlights, it's really still popular. And I feel like that came from France as well. Like just that really cool color, you know. But I will say, I have noticed this trip that bright colors, I've noticed a lot more of it in, in the Middle East, which is exciting because it's fun. But the one thing I will say, when you get color, you have to really hydrate your hair the night before because once you go like super blonde or you get like really light tips and it's damaged, it's gone. Like you have to cut it off. So I'd say just make sure that you're, you know, keep, so keeping your hair healthy. So what should we do to hydrate it? Like put a sleep hair, with. We have hair. an amazing hair oil. You can sleep with it the night before. Again, like you can sleep in our treatment mask. Just making sure that you're hydrating your hair before you put the bleach on it. That's really good advice. I hope they heard that. I think we need to quote that one in, in online. That's really good advice. Um, anyone else? You guys are so I like know. polite. I love it. <laughs> this is our Dubai audience. It's we have very two happy. questions here. Yes. Oh, go ahead. What's the best oh, shape, what shape face? face? For, um, for you know, haircut. whenever a client asks for a shortcut, I always kind of, first of all, I ask if they're going through anything emotionally or like they're hormonal, because that's when we tend to make the worst decisions. Um, but usually I'll look at a face and I'll, I'll, I would say, you know, if you have a really good jaw, if you have a good profile, um, you know, you want to make sure that, you know, your, your forehead's the right forehead to get like a heavy fringe or a light fringe. And I think just going to a stylist that you trust, that you know a friend's gone to, and just doing your research, because the minute you get a bad haircut, it's like your mojo is gone, and it's so crazy. <laughs> it takes forever to go back. Amira? Yeah, so she was just asking about blondes and what really helps to maintain the color and what, if the oil dulls the color. It doesn't dull, dull the color at all, no. But what I would suggest is, you know, like our shampoos have no phthalates or sulfates or parabens, so it's really, really gentle for color-treated hair. That's one thing you really want to be careful of. Like, like I said, really cheap shampoos can really, like, strip your hair of natural oils that you actually need. So it can make, you know, even if you're a gorgeous blonde, if you use the wrong shampoo and conditioner, it can make your hair look really porous and like frizzy. So I, I'm really well versed on this. I just did a press day. So our products now are available in the Dubai mall, this mall at Sephora. Um, we're also at City Center, M M Murdiff? Midriff? Murdiff. Not yeah. Merit, sorry. What is it? Murdiff. Murdiff, sorry. <laughs> Not Midriff, Murdiff. Um, and then we're in Abu Dhabi as well, and we're going to be rolling out soon. I mean, we're such a young brand. I just did an Instagram post about this. We're slowly trying to get product out as, as fast as we can, but we obviously don't want to, uh, you know, we want to make quality products. So, um, and we are available on Sephora.ae. So if you, as soon as the session is done. It's yeah. good for girls with thick hair or girls with really fine hair that want volume. And as you rub it, it dries. And it's incredible. I still, like, don't understand how it works. It's so incredible. So it's here today. Thank you. Um, I just want to say a big, big thank you for everyone who came to thank part you. one of our session. This is 
the hair goddess, Jen Atkin. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you guys for being here. I didn't know so many people would be here. You're all so beautiful. I love coming here too. Like I feel like this is my second home. Thank you. Um, so thank you so much. Have a safe flight. Thank you guys. And we love having you in Dubai. Thank you. I hope to come back more and more. <laughs> Away. Yeah. Should we just do, um, we'll do one, uh, I'm going to take that from you, and then we'll do...